So you'd never met Mr. Jensen before yesterday? I've told you, he just turned up. What is this? We just want to hear your version of events. Events? He was here just an hour or so ago. This morning? Yes, he called by to get his money. For fixing the stable door? Yes. And for that, you paid him £300? Maybe I should go. No, it's fine. Stay where you are. This is completely ridiculous. And anyway, we're almost done. I'm afraid we're not, sir. It's OK. I'll, um... Benice, I... I... Why didn't you pay him yesterday? <sighs> Sorry? Connor Jensen for the work he did. Uh, I... I tried to, but he wouldn't take it. Odd thing to do, don't you think? Well, he was... in a hurry. He left in a hurry. Why was that? <laughs> he... He made a pass at me, and then he left. You're saying he made a pass at you? Yes, which I rejected. I'm telling you the truth. Mind if we take a look around the house? Want to explain why there are blooded tissues in your rubbish bin? As I've told you before, when he arrived this morning, he said that he'd been beaten up. That's when I invited him in, because he needed cleaning up. So you were playing the Good Samaritan? Let's get one thing straight. I never laid a finger on that boy. I'm not saying you did. No, but you're insinuating it. Shouldn't you be in Europe? I got finished earlier than planned. What? What's all this? Can I have a word? Has well, somebody been doing something they shouldn't? Not in the mood, Robert, not in the mood. Well, I don't know, I'll leave you alone for five minutes. Get out! I mean it. I do not want you in here. Shards of glass have been found on the floor in the sitting room. Anything we should know? I broke a wine glass. I assume that's not a crime. And the wine stains splattered up the fireplace? Did some sort of struggle take place? OK. I suppose it, um... It did get a little heated when he made the pass. Why didn't you mention this before? I don't know. Uh, in hindsight, I should have. OK. This is how it goes. We'd like, with your permission, to take the contents of this bag. Oh, for God's sake, you must know the boy's lying. I only know what I'm told. But look at me. Uh, I'm a man of a certain age. I, I have a grandson. Uh, I, I, I have a beautiful girlfriend. Uh, th th this whole thing is ludicrous. We generally let courts decide that. Hey. Hey. Uh, we'll get a pint of vodka tonic and orange juice, please. Oh, and uh, a couple of paracetamol if you've got them. Eh? My dad, we went horse riding and he fell off. Oi, not the time, everyone. We did it for Katie. I need the loo. All right, come on then. Sorry. It's a nice idea, mate. Sorry? You know, going horse riding for Katie. Yeah, it's the first time I've been horse riding without her. Got a bit, you know. It'll get you sometimes. I remember when Jackson died. I, I think I was fine, and then just one thing, one small thing, and I could feel it. You know, getting the better of me. Yeah, sounds about right. Remembering the good times helps. Well, I'll try to keep hold of them. They won't ever leave you. Never. Thanks. And it will get better. Promise. Leave me alone. What, leave you alone with your demons? <laughs> oh, you really are enjoying this. Can you blame me? I thought I was doing the lad a favour. <laughs> More fool me. <laughs> yeah, well, we all make mistakes, and when we do, we have to pay for them. <laughs> I can't. 
can't go back to prison. I just can't. <laughs> I'd rather die than go back there. <laughs> hey, come on. It won't come to that. <laughs> won't it? No, of course not. I mean, this lad's obviously some sort of chancer. Please will soon suss that out. <laughs> you believe me then? Yeah, of course I believe you. I was just mocking about. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> hey, listen to me. Listen. Prison's not an option. Look at me. Hey, look at me. Right? I mean it, Lawrence. Right? I'll make certain of that. <laughs>